welcome to Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences and gives you travel tips. And that's what we're doing today. I live in Amsterdam and so I'm gonna tell you all the apps that you should have to make your trip to Amsterdam super easy. So let's just dive right in. The first app, when you land, you'll land at Schiphol Airport, most likely, unless you land in a different city. Having the Schiphol app will be super helpful. I use it all the time. Um, there's all kinds of information in it. It will help you track your flight, um, luggage carousel, all kinds of stuff. So definitely check that out because it'll just save you time and a little bit of frustration. And go ahead and download the airline app that you use. We typically fly KLM. So that's been really nice because it will also update you if a gate's changed and stuff like that. So having the Schiphol app alongside your um, airline app basically makes you double prepared, which is just always nice, right? A lot of places here use contactless payments. I know a lot of Americans have trouble with using some of their cards here. Um, so if you use Apple Pay or Google Pay, is that what they're called? Google Wallet, whatever. Um, if you wanna use contactless on your phone, you'll be able to in a lot of places, not everywhere. So have a little bit of cash, have your credit card, and then have this. I'm all about being prepared when it comes to money because we have gotten stuck in Hong Kong and it was quite the ordeal. Booking.com, of course, because having your reservations and stuff in the app itself is super important. We use booking.com. I used to work for booking.com and yes, I still use them. <laughs> I would definitely recommend it. I really just like the options, the service and how the app is set up. But if you use Airbnb, definitely download that app. Although using Airbnb in Amsterdam, a bit of a no-no, um, lots behind that, not getting into that today. Okay, so you wanna eat, but where do you eat? Go ahead and download the fork and open table. Both of those places will help you get reservations in different restaurants around the city. And I just have to let you know that people do love reservations around here. So if you can, and if you have that type of personality to be able to plan ahead a little bit and research the restaurants that you wanna try, go ahead and use this app. I find it really helpful just to have everything in one place. Again, personal preference. You wanna eat, but you don't wanna go out. So the apps we have here are Deliveroo, we have Uber Eats, and we have something called Thals Pazork. Luckily for you, <laughs> they also have the name Takeaway. So you can download the Takeaway app and then you can be ready for ordering in, which some days I think we just do too often. Never mind. Anyway, go ahead and download those and you don't have to worry about getting up in the morning, getting up early or staying out too late or whatever. Although Amsterdam at night is my favorite time to see Amsterdam. So I highly recommend you going out to dinner, but just in case you don't want to or you're feeling under the weather, perfect option. For taxis, we have our city taxi, which is TCA. They do have their own app similar to Uber. We also have Uber and we have Bolt. So you can download those three apps and see which one um, works best for you. Just know that if you use Uber at the airport, there is a specific stand for it. Um, I have an entire video on how to get from the airport into the city. I'll link that down below for you um, and I show you exactly where that stand is. To get around the city itself, you can of course hire a bike, which eh, I'm kind of on the fence about when you're a visitor. If you do hire a bike, please just learn the rules of the road. That's all I ask. But if you wanna take public transportation, go ahead and download the GVB app. That is the name of our transportation here in the city. Um, and the new app, some of you may not know this, even if you do live in Amsterdam, the new app allows you to buy tickets on the phone. That is so handy because I've seen an app floating around that's like, oh, you can buy Amsterdam public transit tickets, but then the conductors don't recognize it. But this is an official app. so. We're finally getting up on the times. To get around the city, you can use City Mapper, which is one of my favorite maps. I use it when I'm in London all the time, and my favorite part about it is it tells you which exit to take, like when you're getting off of a metro stop, which I absolutely love. But Google Maps works just as well. And if you're worried about not having internet, you can download a Google Maps map. And I'll leave the instructions in the description below for you, but it's super easy. If you're coming from outside of Europe, you can use the XE app and that will help you understand the exchange rate in case you're shopping and you're like, well, how much is this in dollars? It'll tell you right there. It's an app that we use when we go outside of Europe 
all the time. So it's a really good one to use and I think it's probably the one people recommend the most. Google Translate, please download Google Translate, download the touch because using the camera is so helpful. Typing it all in is so helpful. As far as things to do, my go-to is Get Your Guide. It's my number one activities app and website. Also Viator, for sure. And TripAdvisor will help you find things to do before you come, but I would recommend Viator and Get Your Guide as far as buying tickets for things. I find them really helpful. And for free walking tours, definitely download Rick Steves because it's free. Everybody loves Rick Steves. Every American loves Rick Steves, I think. If you don't, I don't want you commenting down below. Don't ruin it for me, he's amazing. Anyway, free audio guides that you can just pop in your ears and you can be on your way learning more about this city. So those are the apps that I think you should have when you come to Amsterdam. Did I miss any? Go ahead and leave it down below for anybody else watching this video and for me because I like to learn stuff like that. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you like videos like this, let me know down in the comments. I really wanna hear from you guys because I love giving travel tips, but I don't always know what kinds are obvious or what you wanna know that I haven't shared yet, so let me know. And if you aren't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that because a lot of y'all don't subscribe but you watch the videos. But I would love for you to be part of this YouTube community, so hit that big red button, hit the bell so you don't miss out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.